Walking with Dinosaurs is regarded as one of, if not the greatest dinosaur documentary of all time. Due to the success of this documentary, many formerly obscure creatures rose to the spotlight and became household names. Not just the dinosaurs, but pterosaurs and ocean reptiles as well. The most famous of these former obscurities has to be one of the most controversial of them all, whose appearance in media has been influenced by Walking with Dinosaurs ever since. A massive monster of the deep that roamed the Jurassic Seaways. The legendary Liopleurodon. The first thing to point out is this creature's size. Unlike what is presented in Walking with Dinosaurs, and has since been the source of much of the show's scrutiny and controversy, Liopleurodon wasn't an 80 foot long leviathan. Not even close. Instead, the smooth-toothed reptile was a mere 23 feet or 7 meters in life. That said, 23 is nevertheless a daunting size for any creature, especially a predator of Liopleurodon's caliber. Liopleurodon was a member of the Pliosauridae family, a group of short-necked plesiosaurs with massive jaws that once ruled the Mesozoic seas and oceans for millions of years as top predators until the mid-Cretaceous period. These predators grew to massive sizes, roaming the seas feeding on any living thing unfortunate enough and small enough to fit in their jaws, and Liopleurodon was no exception. Liopleurodon swam the coastal seas of what is now Europe, the first of its fossil remains being found in what is now France, and have since been found in other European countries including England and Germany, mainly the former. The first fossilized materials of Liopleurodon recovered were two-inch teeth. As more materials were uncovered, it revealed a ferocious creature possessing a skull that took up a fifth of its body length at 3 feet, or 120 centimeters, with massive jaws filled with conical teeth. Such a skull to body ratio indicates a powerful bite, which is supported by bite force estimates of other pliosaurs like Pliosaurus funky, which possessed a bite force of 33,000 pounds. Combined with the body's supporting four flippers that allow short bursts of speed, and evidence of a directional sense of smell, this creature possessed the tools of an effective ambush predator that cruised the seas for its next meal. One would think that paleontology and its fossilized remains would be key in shaping and giving Liopleurodon its appearance. And while it has certainly laid the groundwork, it's pop culture who has really given this creature its identity. Part of recognizing Liopleurodon's identity is recognizing just how much mainstream media has influenced this creature's appearance and how it's generally depicted. This creature's splendor was first showcased in Walking with Dinosaurs, which interpreted as a massive monster of the deep, swimming through the late Jurassic waterways as a 150-ton predator that ate anything that could fit in its jaws. I mean, they weren't entirely wrong except for the size. The size estimate of the Walking with Dinosaurs Liopleurodon has been the source of much of the show's criticism, with many pointing out that the creators went for a more exaggerated estimate for excitement and speculation rather than staying true to the evidence. Despite this inaccuracy, the Walking with Dinosaurs interpretation of this sea monster has since carried it into stardom, achieving newfound popularity amongst viewers, and as a result, has been heavily featured in many other media like movies, TV shows, cartoons, and toys. Hell, it was even a character on Charlie the Unicorn. Oh god, what is that? It's a Leo Pleurodon, Charlie. A magical Leo Pleurodon. It's gonna guide our way to Candy Mountain. Alright guys, you do know that there's no actual Candy Mountain, right? Shun the non-believer. Shun. Shun. Yeah. These depictions are often almost exactly like walking with dinosaurs. An unstoppable 80 to 100 foot long leviathan of the deep. Heck, some even copy the color scheme from Walking with Dinosaurs. It truly is a testament to how iconic the Walking with Dinosaurs Liopleurodon has become. Despite this creature's infamy, its remains are relatively fragmentary. The most substantial remains coming from a skeleton of a species of Liopleurodon called Liopleurodon ferox. But even then, the lack of remains still shroud its behavior and lifestyle. As a result, we have to look to other pliosaurs to figure out its behavioral patterns, but even then we can still only speculate on what behavioral aspects that set them apart from other pliosaurs. While the remains of this animal and its lifestyle aren't the most well studied, the image of this creature has rippled through pop culture as an iconic behemoth of the sea, instilling fear and awe with its size, power, and predatory prowess. 